I have my toe. I saw this week is Noah Cyrus came out with her first single. The single is called Make Me Cry, otherwise known as Cry, and it's a very slow song, which is kind of unusual for most artists to do as their first single, but when you're coming from a family like hers, where her father and all of her siblings are also singers, I don't think you really need to do what normal artists do. Everybody was like, oh, Noah Cyrus came out with a song? Listen. And another reason why it's not a normal single is because it's actually a duet. Cyrus partnered with Labyrinth, who is a famous R&B singer and songwriter. You can look him up on Twitter and Instagram, but it's very catchy because their voices definitely harmonize well together. This isn't actually the first time that she's made music either. She has a single with Frankie Jonas, yes, Frankie Jonas, the littlest Jonas brother, in the Ponyo movie. I'm not sure if I'm saying that name correctly. It's surprising to me how much similarity Noah and Miley had as far as vocals. And it's actually really cool because Miley was 15 when her second album, Hannah Montana 2, Meet Miley Cyrus, came out, and that gave her more of her Miley Cyrus side of singing. But Noah is 16 years old for this first single, so they're around the same age, so it'll be interesting to see if she comes out with a whole album, what that will be like, if Miley and her are going to do a duet together. Like, I'm really excited for one of those. So we'll have to just keep our ears open. Steve Harvey was on his show, The Reunion of Kings of Comedy, where he announced that November 14th, is officially Bernie Mac Day in Chicago. Bernie Mac was a famous comedian, hilarious, but he did pass away in 2008 at the age of 50 due to pneumonia, and he also had some inflammation issues. So it was really sad when he passed away because he was so young. When, ever, when anybody passes away and they're that young, like Michael Jackson, my grandpa passed away when he was 53, it definitely takes a toll on the family because it's not something you expect it to happen that soon in their life. Steve Harvey and Bernie Mac were great friends, so when Steve Harvey was announcing Bernie Mac Day on live television, he got very choked up and emotional. Mike Epps, who's another comedian, was actually in Chicago at the high school that Bernie Mac and his wife went to, and he announced that the high school was renaming their auditorium the Bernie Mac Auditorium on the same day. It's such a great way to honor him by giving him this day in his hometown, because he really was a great comedian that opened several doors in comedy. The most exciting news that I saw this week is Ashley Graham has her very own Barbie doll. Ashley Graham wanted to make sure that it wasn't like a typical Barbie. She wanted no thigh gaps. She wanted it to resemble her. And it's really cool that she was honored with this. It's not for sale yet, but it will be for sale soon. And Graham was quoted saying, We need to work together to redefine the global image of beauty and continue to push for a more inclusive world. She also says, now every girl does look like Barbie. And I would definitely commend Ashley Graham for being so persistent on making sure that this Barbie look exactly like her. I know she is labeled kind of as a plus size model, but she doesn't even consider herself a plus size model. She just considers herself a model. And that's the, exactly the kind of mindset that I believe America should get into, especially with all of the hate that has been spewed from this past election. We all need to just love each other for who we are and not try to change others into what we want them to be. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so you can see future Lexicon broadcasts. With that, I'm Lexi Kubander and shine bright like a diamond.